Hello there, guys. We are here at, um, New Hampshire. I just went extreme speed mode. Okay, everyone noticed that one. <laughs> None of you guys know extreme, but shout out to my boy. It's getting out there. He will be starting in sixth place. Nice. All right, let's, let's get to your, um, let's get to talk about New Hampshire. New Hampshire, we've got Eugene Max on the pole. He has been fairly fast, but your fastest start all weekend has started. It's going to start on the outside of him. Andreas Allen is 16. And Hayden Klein, he has still going to find speed in that 48 car. Um, he'll start third. Jake Smith of 31 car. He will be in fourth place. And round out the top five is Trek Todry. Let's get these cars rolling off here. And, yeah. See where your car is starting here, and yeah, let's get in. Let's get down to your starting grid to start this race. Pace car is rolling off here at New Hampshire. Eugene Max in the 8 car. He runs very good in points. Him and Alex Scarjay are up in the top 5 in points. The DEI car is showing that they are a threat. Also, you got the, the 15 car, the point leader of Austin Ogo. He will start near midfield in that 15 car. He is your point leader. He slipped back after Atlanta for being in that wreck. But... None the least, he's still our point leader. And pace car is fixing to pull in. Pace car dives in. We're getting ready to start off here at New Hampshire. Eugene and Max lead them down. Green flag is out here in New Hampshire. He didn't get a very good start there. Eugene and Max didn't jump the start there as much as I thought he would. But Demax is right now in the lead, but Andreas Allen's not in the preferred groove. He'll slide back a little on the outside. The 48 car going, trying to get to Andreas Allen's inside. He can't get it done there. But three wide behind him. Ooh, the 19 hit the wall in the back. Alex Jones has struggled to do anything this entire season. Whoa. He's got a lot of door and damage. Looks like he's been involved in some big incident. I don't know what's happened. Let's see if there was a wreck. Yep, the 17 car, Mason Gordon. 17 Mason Gordon in the has wrecked. The pace car will pick up Demax as he leads him back to the start finish line. Let's check a replay to see what happened. All right, we're gonna focus in on Alex Jones. Looked like the 25 pushed up into the 19. He's going to push up the track and hit the wall. Oh, Luke Martin, they was four wide there. Nowhere Luke Martin can go. Oh, we had a separate incident in the back involving Alex Jones' teammate. Oh, the point leader got a piece. Tim Fiegel was got a little damage. The 24 saw got a little bit. The 90 car got spun around. Let's check a replay on what exactly happened to him. All right, we're going to check a replay here. They see the guys wrecking up in front. Kyle Malone just jumps into the 99, making the 99 jump into the 24, causing the 24 to slide down into the 9 of Mason Wood. Mason Wood would go around, but he came back out of that with no, hardly much damage. He would continue on. Let's get back to your restart. We are back for your restart. Eugene Max is your leader. He is within a race of his teammate, Austin Ogo, the point leader. Uh, Ogo in the 15 is in the back. He got a little bit of damage, as you can see on the side of his car. Back to the leader here. Eugene Max in the 8 car. Still your leader, but... Andreas Allen, he moved his way up to 4th um, all-time on the win list, winning 3 races now, adding 3 wins to his name. 
showing off for um, Roush Benway. Andreas Allen, though, missing um, Grand Detour made him lose a lot of points. So, Andreas Allen may not be a title threat this season. Hayden Klein is also near the rear of the, the, rear of the field in points. He needs to gain a lot of points if he wants to be a threat for this championship. Jake Smith, he has been off and on this season. He's had some good runs. He's had some bad runs. And the 31 team really showed a lot of potential out in the second race at Bearfield. Was that? The, is the pace car pulling out? Was there a wreck? Is the pace car pulling out? Nope, I thought, he, I thought the pace car was pulling out. But Eugene Max is your leader so far. Let's check on some guys in the back of the field. There's your point leader, Austin Ogo. Ogo in the 15 has done a lot, has done very good this season, driving for DEI. We would, no one would expected him to do much for DEI, but um, he's showing out here this season. But Atlanta wasn't actually his best race. He finished well, well in the back. His car looked like a modified at the end of the at the end of the race. But none the least, he runs out on track right now in last place, and he's really off the pace, losing a lot of ground to these guys. Greg Brown didn't ex we wouldn't expect him to struggle this bad with the 24 car. He's still up in the championship hunt. He's not necessarily not out of the championship by far. We still got a lot of races left remaining. That 24 car, the last time we ran this mod with the 24 car, Richard Johnson won it in season one. Johnson by the time in this point lead by the time in season one this race um, Richard Johnson the 24 car was was taking the point lead around this time in that season but Back up front Samuel Mills also in the two car Evan Gattuso won in that car at Grand Detour Samuel Mills still hasn't won a race This is his 26 start Looking like his team, like his um co-owner Luke Martin, right now. Although Noah Hart, he has started his engine 46 times and hasn't won a race. Noah Hart is the longest winning, the longest winless driver that is in the Sony Cup Series. He has been in the Sony Cup Series since season one and hasn't won a race. Today is not looking like his strong suit in the 83 car. Maybe not a win for him today. The 83 has never been fast in the Sony Cup Series. The best finish it's had was Season 1 with Seth Cole at Texas, finishing second. Alex Garjay is in the top five in points. He needs this run with his teammate not doing so good. But Brandon Bain, right there, has had... Um, he's up there in the point battle. He's in the top three in the points. Good run here today. Could put him back on top of the point lead. The 12 car is also of Calvin Malone. Let's check where he's at. There he is. He is in second in points. He has been closing in the gap on the point leaders for the championship. But Mason Gordon, he had to sit out. Tim Fiegel replaced his um, car at Grand Detour. Mason Gordon got a good top 10 finish, but not what he was looking for at Atlanta. Uh, Alex Jones has been I I don't know what has been wrong with him. Austin Alex Jones he's been the weak link in Everham Motorsports. Him and M Mason Wood really need to pick it up. I don't know I don't even know how they still have their rides and haven't been fired yet because with that kind of performance that's not gonna do much. Finishing 23rd, t finishing in the 20s every race. Back up front, we're coming to complete halfway here. Eugene Max leads over a good margin over Alex Andreas Allen. Passing has been very difficult this um, this weekend. It has proven to take a tr um, a toll on three wide and two wide racing around this track early on. But long runs, it's very hard to make passes with the grip wearing down. Andreas Allen and Jake Smith shows us how passing is hard to do because they ain't making passes. Jake Smith needs a good run to kind of charge back in the point battle. That 31 car has been sliding backwards a little bit. Hayden Klein definitely needs a good finish. 
He's been off and on this season. He's had he's had some good finishes and some terrible luck. That 48 crew needs to pick it up. They had a chance with that car in season one with Chris Summers, but couldn't quite pull it off. Nick Mace had a chance in season two. He just blew a motor, and that cost him the chances of winning a championship. Hayden Klein has a lot to prove for that 48 team, showing now a good, strong fourth place finish. Trick Todger in the five car. He's had some very, very miserable luck this season. He is right now running in the top five, very, very preferably what he needs right here. The Grand Detour, he was running up the front in second place most of the time. And he ended up um, sliding back. I don't know what went, went wrong with him at Grand Detour, but that's really only the good finish that he's had this season. Nick Mace, we've talked about him before. Nick Mace in that 18 car. He was good in season one and season two. He hasn't even he hasn't won a race yet. His last win was Darlington in season two. He is um, third all time on the win list of the Sony Cup series. Um. So yeah, nothing really is going on up front. Let's skip a few laps to make this time shorter and less boring. We are back and coming around for after this lap, we will have only um, five laps remaining here at New Hampshire. Eugene Max leads. He right now is going after his second career win in the Sony Cup Series. He won on a flat track called Savannah. He's looking to win another flat track here at New Hampshire. Andreas Allen looking to go back to back for the Roush Fenway cars. Looking to move his way up onto, I think he is already, wait, no, he's looking to tie himself for second all-time on the win list, if he can win here today. Trying to challenge Eugene Max, but he's just been so fast on the longer runs. And, uh, Andreas Allen's been very quicker on the five-lap runs, but I don't think it's going to pay off much, but we got a pass for the third, third place, maybe. Hayden Klein peaked low going on Jake Smith. Jake Smith's um, teammate in the 30 car has been told if he doesn't perform well, he could be this could be his last race. And right now running in 14th for RCR, maybe not good enough to keep his ride here today. Maxwell Vatti and Jake Smith trying to look underneath Andreas Allen, but just passing is very tough here. And I don't think they're going to be able to get it done. I mean, Eugene Max has a very very fast car. Three laps remaining. Demax going for his second career win in the Sony Cup Series. He's looking to tie himself with the guys that are... A lot of guys in my series have two wins. A lot of them do. And the top five, not much people have gotten over two wins in my series. Many people have two wins, but not many people have over two wins. Demax going for his second one. I have like seven people that has two wins in my series. Demax looking to be his that number eight person to get second time a second that to get two wins in the Sony Cup series. He's pulling away right now from Andreas Allen. The cars are sliding up the hill a little bit. Klein is looking to go low. Uh -huh. Rick Hendrick Motorsports in the top five, two cars in the top five. Looks as though the 25 and the 24 didn't get their setup right. There's two different setups here for New Hampshire. New Hampshire, or 48-5 car shop and the 24 and the 25 car shop. But through turns three and four. Eugene Max has been the dominant car all race. He leads all 30 laps in the day and he will win here at New Hampshire. Demax will win here at New Hampshire, win, lead all their laps. First time in the Sony Cup Series history somebody has led all the laps and went on to win. First time, wait, no, my bad, I derped there. Evan Gattuso was the first guy to do that back in um, Season 1 at Watkins Glen. My bad, I derped there. Demax will join um, Evan Gattuso, second person to do that. Congratulations to Eugene Demax, moving his championship hopes even higher. He was a threat in Season 2. It looks like he's going to be a threat in Season 3. 
here's your official results. Eugene Max in the 8 car will be the winner here today. Andreas Allen will get second. Jake Smith third. Hayden Klein fourth. Fifth, Trent Todger. Sixth, Nick Mace. Seventh, Dylan White. Eighth, Pichu London. Ninth, Michael Walton. And tenth is Brandon Bain. Well, that was all for today, and yeah, I just had Christmas break, and my finals are over. I made a 92 and an 88 on my finals, so yep, yep, hooray! Whew. man, I've been, I've been really studying for that, you guys, and it's been really draining me to having to do studying in this at the same time. But now it's over. It's Christmas break for me, so more races to come for you guys. We'll see you later.